Hi, this is Jamie with Compressor Source. We get a lot of questions and confusion about the different thread types, different sizes of threads, and how to measure them correctly. And so we want to take a few minutes and do a brief tutorial to make sure you get the correct fitting and size for your application. So let's dive in. In front of me, you're going to see a few different styles and sizes of check valves with different thread types. I picked these for a quick and easy reference for this video. You're also going to see a few different types of measurement devices that I picked for this video. You're going to start with a, just a standard tape measure, a set of calipers, and then this is a cool little pipe thread gauge that we actually make and sell on our website. Uh, they're very cheap, but makes it really easy to quickly reference pipe threads. On one side, it measures male pipe threads. On the other side, side it measures female. But in front of me, on the left-hand side here, we're going to start with a female by male MPT check valve. So this is a three-quarter inch female MPT check valve by three-quarter inch male MPT check valve. A lot of people just have a tape measure at home, so they're going to take a tape measure, they're going to hold it up to the side of the threads, and they're going to measure it, which in this case, three-quarter inch MPT measures an inch in diameter. So they hop on our website, they order an inch uh, check valve, they get it, and it's way too big. And so that's what we're trying to pre prevent. So a standard reference is anytime you measure pipe thread sizes, it's going to usually be about a quarter of an inch bigger than the actual thread size. So quarter inch is going to measure half inch, half inch is going to measure three quarter inch in diameter, and three quarter inch is going to measure inch in diameter, and so on. So that kind of covers the actual pipe thread size. You can also do it with a caliper, um, whatever you have. Um, the correct way of doing it is with a pipe thread gauge, but a lot of people don't have that because they're not doing it every day. So these are easy around the house tools that you'll be able to use. This is a compression thread by pipe thread. We've already covered the pipe thread. Um, if you measure the diameter of this, which this is three quarter, it's gonna measure inch. Um, but you got to take a quarter of a quarter of an inch off of your actual diameter measurement. The compression thread, however, is completely different. This is actually three quarter inch compression, which you can see has a different thread uh, pitch. Um, it's a finer thread, but how this is measured is actually by the tubing that goes into the inside of it. So on a compression thread, you're either going to have a copper or aluminum tube, typically, that go into the center of this, and you're actually going to measure the outside diameter of that tube. To do this, most commonly used is calipers. You can use a tape measure, but it's a little bit harder to get an exact measurement. But So on this check valve, you would have a copper tube that measured three quarters of an inch outside diameter. That would slip into this fitting and the nut, the nut goes over the top. So there again, a lot of people come and measure this. And for instance, this particular one is just under an inch. It's about seven eighths. Um, and so they, they get confused and don't know what to buy when it comes to compression thread. The next style that we see a lot in the compressor industry, especially with Ingersoll Rand compressors, is inverted flare. So on the inside of this, you're going to see a weird style fitting that some people might have not seen before, but it's a little inverted uh, ring around the inside of this that there's a nut that is over the copper or aluminum tubing that smashes that tubing down onto that flare, and it's called an inverted flare. It's an, the opposite of this type of flare. So there again, how this is measured, this is three quarter inch uh, flare, inverted flare fitting. You're gonna measure the outside diameter of the copper tube to get that inverted flare measurement. So that tube should measure three quarters inch outside diameter, which then will have the fitting that goes over it that screws into this because this actually measures just over an inch in diameter. Another type is an actual flare fitting. It's gonna look just like this, but this is a three quarter inch flare. There again, you're gonna measure the outside diameter of the tubing. The only kicker to this fitting is, is you can also use a JIC fitting, which is a little bit more in depth on measuring, but typically a JIC fitting is found on an actual hose, whether it's a rubber hose or a stainless steel braided hose, um, but those can screw onto this as well. 
That kind of go covers all the different thread sizes, the more common ones. I know I could go a lot more in depth. Um, I could show uh, an actual pipe thread gauge, but if you're watching this video, more than likely you don't have a pipe thread gauge. So we just kind of wanted to give a quick reference um, with easy around the house measurement tools and kind of give you an idea of what to look for to make sure you get the correct part. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it answered some questions that you may have had to make sure that you get the correct fitting. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.